Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here for my Monday night video, fireside chat version. I have a few things going on. First of all, the Jolly Bar status. A lot of you have finished your sampler or you are just about finished with your sampler. Well, mine is traveling right now to the Fat Quarter Shop because Kimberly wants to show it on her live stream. So when it comes back, I will do that outer border I'll decide I'm probably gonna just put the polka dots and call it done so that I can be finished and the friendship bracelet is also on travel it's on location it's gone to the spa so Cindy and Dennis can quilt something amazing on it I don't know Cindy showed me some uh, new designs she had gotten so I thought oh that'd be fun I like for on those kind that we can try something new something a little bit different uh, so it's not always the same thing all the time it's fun to see those stitched out designs in a real quilt so today we're going to kick off making a wreath my joyful wreath pattern is one that's super simple. Uh, you can probably make it from your scraps if you don't want to buy fabric, um, you know, or from your stash rather, not your scraps, but you need a couple big pieces, not too big, but kind of big. Um, I'm going to show you the fabrics that I will use to make one. Uh, last, what was it, Friday? I think I showed you the two bundles, so I narrowed it down. I got down to one bundle because it has one fabric in it that I love so I thought well I'm just going to go with that bundle and see what happens so let's see the process of picking out which fabrics go where and how I go through that because that's the fun part that is the fun part for me I will leave the pattern here where we can see it let me just get this out of the way there we go put that down there Okay, now we got plenty of room. There is a wreath in the middle, which are basically bow tie blocks. Then there's a little inner sashing, and then the outer, plus the background. So I am going to use this for my background, which is the Blossom fabric by my friend uh, Christopher Thompson, and it's got red and um, navy blossoms on there, little specks. So I'm gonna use that. Now, when I'm looking at this, the first thing I thought I wanted to decide was this outer piece because that is the fabric that I love in this bundle. So this is the patriotic bundle and this is the fabric that I just love. Okay, not just, just love, love, love this fabric. Uh, this, is, this fabric comes in a few other background colors. Like I'll link you down below to the not only this bundle but to all the fabrics from this line so that if you want to have a cream colored background or red 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 colored background and while you're there would you click the subscribe so we can be friends all the time alrighty down below there we go oh, if I want to use this I'm going to audition it as a triangle because that's the shape that it'll be so I will have a triangle for the corners and this is just staying here as a light there are a few navies in this line but most of them have a lot more print on them as you can see uh, so I went with this navy which is just the little flowers so it has texture and now to audition I just want to put it there you know just so I know okay I've got the navy the bow definitely must, 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 must have this sort of try and interesting gingham. It's, it's like a gingham print, but on with, with triangles. So I really like that. And that also comes in blue for the fabric line. So there we go. Now you have the basis here. This wreath will go all the way around and the bow. Now there is a divider in here so that it doesn't mush, so that you, your wreath doesn't mush into your border fabric. And I have three options with this line for uh, red. There's red with the words on it, which reads pretty solid except for those little like white stripes that come. So this reads pretty solid. And the same with the tonal stars, reads a little less solid because you do see those specks. And then the white with the stars. So let's, let's look at these. Now the, I forget what the width of it is, but I'm just gonna audition the, the stripe like that. So if I had had this over here, it would it would definitely um, make a transition. But I'm thinking the white is just a little more transition, a little more focus than I want. So I'm going to want one of these. Here is the red 
with the tonal, which is nice, and the red with the words, which, you know, I like word prints, so I'm really torn. I don't know. They both do about the same thing, except that this gives these little bitty little strips here of the white words, which is kind of cool. I might do that. Now I want to show you some other options from this same bundle because you can actually come up here and chat. You could actually make probably more than one of these wreaths from this one bundle if you had enough background fabric. So let's, you know, if you had background fabric plus that bundle, you could do quite a few. Now the other thing here, let's put this, the other thing which is kind of neat is if you want the middle part to be one of these text, you know, one of these prints, here's this great word print, um, family, friends, land of the free because of the brave. Um, you know, you could make the center of the wreath this, print and then the outer would be this one. So you could make a combo. It doesn't have to be all of this if you don't want it to. So there's an option for working with some of this print. Now if you wanted to use this everywhere, it, it w might compete with your wreath and you might lose your wreath. Now on the outer, here is one of the other prints uh, in navy again. So that would be great. These. Um, Americana pinwheels out here. That would be super. And if you wanted to do light, you could take this one, which has got uh, the stars, and there you would go. So that one definitely would need one of these solids to break, break up, and you definitely would want to have, for me, I would want to have this as the wreath because I don't want to, I don't want it to compete and get lost with that print. Now another way to do this with this bundle is if you did want a, a red wreath, you could actually go a whole the whole other way. You could do, um, let's say, a red wreath like this, and then you could do this for the bow, so that that could be the bow and the red wreath, and then your divider here, um, it could be this navy. So there's switching around to show you a red wreath with a bow that's blue. Uh, and here's, here's another print that you could, that same word, big word print would look pretty, pretty great out here. Now, if you're going to use this one, let me, let me talk to you. This is directional. So if you're going to use this one with the directional fabric, I think you would need more than came in the bundle so that you could get all of the words going the way that you want them. Uh, maybe, maybe not. You might be able to squeeze it out of here. Uh, I think it takes a 10 and a half, yeah, 10 and a half inch square for these, that outer point. Um, these are 10 and a half inch squares. And then when you're cutting them, you'd have to just be really careful that you got this all in the same place. You know, so all the words are going right side up because I'm kind of freaky about that. I don't, I don't want those words sideways in one block. That would be a little odd. Alrighty, there you go. That is how I'm, I'm going to go, I'm definitely going with this <laughs> and, the, and the navy. This will be the wreath. Uh, and I'll play around. Oh, there's one other one. Duh. Here was an, in the package. Uh, was another star, a, whoops, a light star, which would be really great even as the background. So if you didn't buy any background, you could just use this guy. So cool. I like it. I like it. So today I have gotten this pulled next Monday. I could probably show it to you as, oh, I will, I will, I will. I'll show it to you as I'm going along, but we will definitely, if you have not started, we will definitely be sewing this next Monday and get the bow ties done. Uh, I probably will look at trying to get it cut this week, um, but if you wanted to order fabric, you know, this is totally a fast and doable project. Several of you over in the community page, put along with Pat Sloan at Facebook, have already made some. Uh, so there you go. It's really fast. Now I wanted to talk about, let's see, I want to talk about a giveaway. Yes, a giveaway. And I'm going to go grab this. Hold on because I put it over there and I didn't get it. 
I have got a special deal for you, my friend. This is the World Peace uh, quilt that we did with the Fat Quarter Shop a few months ago. It was in March to celebrate World Quilt Day. Isn't that awesome? It, let me just show you the fabrics used because guess what? I have not one, but two kits to give away. The fabric in this one is from my friend Christopher again, the same uh, friend that designed this fabric. He also designed this one with the pins. So they're all, there's a, uh, there's, this is a solid, whoops, sorry. This one's a solid, but here you can see the little pins. Okay, let me just get it up there. See the pins? So like on the purple, they're white pins. On the color one, the, the white fabric, they're different color pins. There's the red one has pins. It's this great little texture and just perfect. This particular kit for the next few days, I believe until Friday, I'll write that down below or on my website, but until Friday, they are 20% off. I have this kit and I wanna show you what's inside the kit because it is a great way to play around with these fabrics. And this is perfect for a table topper. I have it mine on my dining room table in the middle of the table. It's also uh, really cute for a little baby blanket like you could even put a border on it if you wanted to buy a little extra fabric and make a little baby quilt so let's look let's look at this kit I have one here because it's not just the fabric it is got the thangles in it so got this is this one will be going to one of you so here we go there are um, three and a half and one and three-fourths inch thangles papers. And these are so fun. If you have never used them, they are really, really cool and neat to do. I don't know if I have, I did at one point have a sample. Ah, here it is. So you will be, you cut like in strips, you cut your fabric in strips, you layer your two fabrics together. There's lots of videos out there from Kimberly at the Fat Quarter Shop who produces these now. Um, and you just follow on the lines and sew, then you will do cut on the lines and you will have perfect half square triangles. And here's one which I have a few more, it's like a double row. So I have two fabrics together. Here you go, see, two fabrics together, the navy and the stripe. So besides the thangles, which is such a great deal to play with those if you've never played with them, it includes, um, Looks like it includes the backing or that there yeah there's some backing which is the aqua pins okay let me show you the aqua pins see those and all the fabrics so even if you didn't want to make this project this is still a great kit at 20 percent off because you get to play around with these different fabrics and see what they're like and get two whole things of thangles so cool. All right, so that means you have to leave a comment over at my website, not here at YouTube. You gotta go below to my link to my website and leave a comment and tell me, <laughs> drum roll. <laughs> tell me what your favorite color is to sew with. So I wanna know what is your favorite color to sew with. This one has a rainbow of colors, so we're celebrating that with all the different colors that are in here because for world peace, we have everybody included. So tell me what your favorite is over at my website. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I have got, remember there's two of those. So over here in the rolling cart, and remember there's 20% off, so you can buy that kit and then if you win one, you can make one for somebody and make one for yourself. All right, I have only this much and then I can sew the old school block to the background. Now a few of these I did with paper and a couple of you asked me, how do you get the paper out? Well, you know, the paper that comes out, regular paper, it just pops out like this one here. You just, you know, if it's a paper one where that comes out, like here, you just sort of lift up the seam allowance and you just pull it out, you know, so there we go, comes out. 
But I don't take, these are all the papers that leave in. They're not actually papers or fibers. The rest of these are fibers except for a couple that were paper. Um, so they all will stay in here. Like here's another paper, real paper on the outside. I won't remove this until I get a lot of this applique down because it'll lose the structure of the edge for appliquing it. So I will wait. That guy is on its way to being done. It's getting close, it's getting close. What else do I have? I have this guy, the little mat that I'm making with the Halloween fabric, the kitty fabric, Halloween kitty fabric, and I cut the binding for it. I'm doing single binding. I'm going to put it on the front and hand stitch it to the back. But what I did, here's a tip that I do. I thought you might, I'm sure you have done this, but if you haven't done it recently or haven't thought of it recently, I've got this pinned here so I know because I've already tested it. I want to test, there's one seam, one seam, and I want to test that that seam is not right on the corner because if the seam is on the corner, it doesn't fold over nicely and it makes me insane. So I wanted to test it. So I pinned it where I'm going to start and then I come to the edge and I basically mock it. So I'm taking the binding and folding it like I would mock it up, you know, and then fold it. And now I'm like thinking, okay, where am I? Where's that seam? Ta-da! The seam is here. So I definitely have enough room. I'm not right on the corner, so I'm good. I don't need to check the other one because there's no seam on the rest of this. So I left this pin in here because I know that's where I'm going to start. So that was another project I did a little bit on, got a little further along on, <laughs> so that it oh, can get them done, get them done. Sail away, I started the boat. So there we go, the boat is in progress. Definitely am a slow cross stitcher, mostly because I'm making quilts too. So the cross stitch is not my main thing, but it's getting there. It's fun, it's very relaxing. I have been doing a little bit in the mornings, just a little bit, uh, which I find very relaxing. I hadn't thought that I would, but I thought I'd try it because I never know if I'm gonna hand stitch in the morning if it feels like I'm just wasting my time, you know, because I feel like I have to get going on the other things. I have to get the, the writing or whatever going. Um, but I did it and I really liked it. So I've been leaving it out, the cross stitch out and this and the English paper piecing, trying to get those done by just stopping and taking a 10 minute break, sew a little bit and then go back to do the other things. Okay, I wanna talk about string quilts. And I'm gonna show you some stuff here, then we're gonna to go to the other side so you can just see the design wall. So I am still on my quest. So I have a whole bunch of these uh, strips in different widths, to, you know, all the scraps, but they're like 10 inches. So they're all a consistent size. And then I went through my light fabric bin <clears throat> to find some fabrics that there wasn't much of them, you know, that maybe there was a piece about this big, you know, and so I cut those up and I cut them into two different widths so that I have variety because I really like the variety. And also I found this weird one that was like, it's like a linen. I don't know what that is. I don't know why I had it or what it was from, but now it's cut up and it's going in this quilt. So these, these are all going to get sewn together like I showed you the other day. Whoops, here's another one. All these will get sewn in one long unit, and then I will take the, the sized ones and lay them on top and uh, chain, chain sew them, then subcut them into the final piece. So, which are like this. So here they are after subcutting. I've got a group of them. Let me show you what I'm, how I audition those, since these will be ready soon for um, you know, getting sewn up. So I have quite a bit of black in this one, so I wanna break it up, break up the black there. And that's probably, that's probably going to be one. So then I would cut it in the circle. I mean, cut it in the square, cut it in the circles. No, square, 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 squares. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the design wall. This is exciting. Here on the design wall, I put the blocks that I had been doing. I had made a few more. And so this is the old school block from May. And what I did is I turned them on point. Turning them on point. You can turn any block on point 
just about any block, I think, and it becomes extremely spectacular. You know, there is a formula for how to figure out your setting triangles for these that I have in my I Love to Make Triangles book. Um, but there, I put them on point and I'm still debating. See, there you can see I've got the light blue ones and then the rest have more red and like this group that I just showed you is going to go more with the, the reddish colors because it's got browns, pinks, blacks. So I may end up having more fabrics to do a sort of red version first and then keep those blue ones rather than uh, putting them together to make the same thing. Uh, the other thing too for the, because I really like things to be a little bit more cohesive in color. So the other thing I found was I ended up with some of these orange strips there. <laughs> they don't go in there so I'm going to have to use them for the crumb blocks I'll put them in with these crumb blocks because they will go they will go in there just fine but I keep looking at them in here going oh no oh no 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 they don't go they're not working for me <laughs> all right let me do a little show and tell of your quilts because we did a show and tell of oh my stars and yours are uh, spectacular, just, just spectacular. So I have a group of them here and I, I'm going to put the pictures up and I have, uh, I have a little cheat sheet so I know what I'm talking about. So first one I'm going to show you is Diane's and Diane did a teal and pink borders on it, which I think really complement that quilt it makes a really nice um, pieced border with the two colors super cool Helen did one with the rose being the same fabric so she did sort of this strippy effect so that the same fabric was used across all the rows and I really like that effect I've not played with one like that and it came several of these I'm showing you are ones that are, are the colorations are set up uh, in sort of a very distinct way. And that's a very cool way to do it for Helen's. Now Ethel showed hers, I believe a while back and I had saved it off uh, to show you because she used some hand dyed fabrics and then she alternated them with, you know, a tone, like a tone on tone or a solid so that you had every other block was these hand dyes and they're uh, very soft pastel shades. Now I love a really good novelty print and Debbie's is using lemons. So I believe it's, uh, you know, there's several other fabrics in there that have this lemon theme to them and they're just so darn cute. <laughs> Kathy did hers with shades of cream, lots of different creams and then browns and then all of her blocks are this sort of really awesome looking blue. I mean her blocks, all of her stars are this really awesome blue. So that turned out super cool. Daryl did a red, white, and blue. So a lot of you love to do the red, white, and blue and I wanted to showcase one of those because you can do these, uh, the Oh My Stars from your stash. You don't have to go and buy something. But even if like I'm working on the, that wreath and if there's extra fabrics I could cut them up into five inch squares and keep them to do a patriotic one. Now Marissa did the did similar to the one Ethel did where every other uh, was a uh, the same fabric but look how different it is. Hers uses like a newsprint type of fabric alternated with a dark. And so it is a totally different look, but it's still that checkerboard effect. Let's see, who do I have next? Cami. Cami used a lot of jewel tones. So for those of you who love this, that style and want to see how you mix in a bunch of different jewel tones, this, this is the one for you. That's <laughs> Okay, I got two more. Jody did a large version, a bedside ver bed size version, and she used what looks like indigo fabrics. Now she didn't say that in her post, but they look like indigos, or at least printed to look like indigos, uh, with the um, <clears throat> with the white stars, which just pop off of there. And the last one is. Uh, Many of you, like Sherry, have done multiples of my Oh My Stars pattern. 
And so Sherry gave us a display out on her clothesline. <laughs> I love that. They look so wonderful. You guys did a fantastic job with the show and tell. It's just really, really cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. And also, I want to thank you so much for all of your words of encouragement about learning that I now have arthritis in my knuckles of my hands, uh, mostly in the left. Uh, but you gave me so many nice words of encouragement and uh, much love and support, which I cannot thank you enough. I mean, uh, you, there's been so many of you have written me cards or written me emails just to uh, talk about me doing these videos and how it's been important to you. And you are as important to me. I mean, I get as much from you as I hope you're getting from me. So it is a, um, it's a group project. <laughs> We're on this together. <laughs> this, <laughs> this quilting love train, right? <laughs> okay, my friend, you are going to be able to get this kit for 20% off today. No, not just today. Today through Friday. I think it's through Friday. 20% off, which comes with not just the fabrics, which are so darn cute, but two rolls of the fangles so that you can go ahead and uh, play around with those and learn how to use them if you have never used them before. It's a great deal. And then two of you will win a kit so exciting go to my website and leave a comment links are down below so i love you Mwah. see you online <laughs>